Hi guys, and welcome back to Annie Shell's Corner. It's Annie Shell. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. That little bell lets you know whenever Annie Shell uploads a new video. This week we learned a little bit about the letter A, 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 the letter T, 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 the, the vocabulary word eavesdropping, which means to listen in on somebody else's private conversations. Then we learned a little bit about the armadillo. The armadillo is the star of our book this week. Let's get started. Today we're having the reading read along of Armadillo Cowtail. Grab your books and follow along. Armadillo Tattletail by Helen Ketterman, illustrated by Keith Graves. In the bare bones beginning, Armadillo's ears were as tall as a jackrabbit and as wide as a steer's horns. With such wonderful ears, Armadillo could hear anything and everything. And he loved nothing better than eavesdropping on other animals and telling tales about what he heard. There's our vocabulary word for the week, eavesdropping. That means to listen in on other people's conversation, private conversations. But as good as his ears were for hearing, they dragged in the dirt and stuck in the muck after rain and always made him trip. Thus, Armadillo was the slowest of creatures. And since the other animals disliked him for telling tales, they beat him to the watering hole every day and forced Armadillo to scrounge through the mud for a puddle of murky water to drink. It tasted awful and practically made him sick. So he drank as little as possible and was always thirsty. One day, as Armadillo stumbled around searching for a puddle, the overheard egret whispered to Turtle, Blue Jay's feathers are looking a bit scraggly. I wonder if the poor bird is sick. I'll call on him tomorrow. Do you see the armadillo hiding in the background? Yes. But Armadillo went to Blue, Bit Blue Jay first, twitching his little tail as he spoke. I heard Egret talking about you, he said in a sing-song voice. She thinks you're scraggly licking. Blue Jay squalled and he bawled, and he squawked, and he got, and he otherwise threw one humongous hissy fit. Is that what, is that what Egret actually said about Blue Jay? Let's see what happens. When Egret heard what happened, she went straight away to Armadillo. What you told Blue Jay was not true. Anyway, my words were not for your ears, she scolded. And she pick-pecked his ears, good and proper, and she gave him the what for, the how come, and the why not. Armadillo cried great big armadillo tears, and he promised never to tell tales again. But the next day, while searching for mud, the mud for a sip of water, Armadillo heard Muskrat and Butterfly talking, and he hid in the bushes to listen. Rattlesnake's rattles used to be terribly out of tune, but now they sound wonderful. She must be taking music lessons, said Meerkat, Muskrat. There he is, hiding in the bushes. And they, did you hear what I read? It says, he hid in the bushes to listen, so he's purposely eavesdropping on other people's private conversations. Armadillo tripped over to where Rattlesnake lay warming herself in the sun. He shifted his weight from foot to foot in an awkward armadillo dance. Rattlesnake opened one eye. And Armadillo grinned. I heard Muskrat talking about you. He said your rattles sound terribly out of tune. Rattlesnake rattled and she prattled. She fussed and she gussed and she's otherwise threw a one humongous Hissy fit. When Muskrat heard what had happened, he scurried to Armadillo. You twisted my words into something I did not say, he shrieked. Besides, my words were not for your ears. And he went back to his tail at Armadillo, and he gave him a what for and how come and a why not. Armadillo cried buckets of tears, and he promised to never, ever tell tales again. But... The next day, while slogging through the mud looking for a drink, Armadillo saw 
alligator and blue jay heron talking. And he stepped behind a rock to listen. Toadskin is looking so much better than I used to. I wonder if she changed her diet, said Alligator. What's, what's, what do you think the armadillo is going to do now? He's going to run over to Toad. Let's see. Armadillo shuffled off to find Toad. I heard Alligator say your skin is pug ugly, and you should go on a diet, he said with a twinkle in his eye. Toad hopped and she flopped and she wailed and she railed. And she otherwise threw one humongous kissy bit. When Alligator found out what Armadillo had said, she hurried to find him. Why did you tell Toad those things? I never said them, she snapped. Anyway, my words were not for your ears. She gave him the what for, and the how come, and the why. Alligator doesn't look happy, does he? Look at the flames coming out his nose and the smoke. Let's find out what Alligator does. And now, she said, I'll fix your ears so you won't be snooping and telling tales again anymore. And she opened her mouth. And she gnashed and clashed her big, strong alligator teeth. And then she snipped and she snipped, nipped, and she clipped at Armadillo's ears until they were nothing but itty bitty teeny weeny little ears. When she finished, Armadillo looked at his reflection in the puddle. His ears were so tiny. Then he started to cry. Oh, did he cry? He raised such a ruckus that all the animals came to see what had happened. When they saw his ears, his new teeny, tiny, itchy, weeny little ears, they stared and they gawked and they whispered. Armadillo stopped crying. What? he asked. What are you whispering? Everyone gaped at Armadillo because for the first time he hadn't quite heard. It was not for your ears anyway, Muskrat called out. Armadillo's face turned red. I did not hear the whispers, but I heard that, he said, chasing after Muskrat. In seconds, Armadillo caught him. Did you see how fast Armadillo ran? Muskrat shouted. He didn't trip at all, added Blue Jay. Why, he is so fast now, we'll never be able to keep him away from the fresh water, said Rattlesnake. I doubt Armadillo is going to drink all the fresh water. They didn't need to keep him out in the first place, but... Armadillo felt his teeny, tiny, itty, weeny little ears. Fresh water, he shouted. That is just what I want, and it's fun to run fast. Then he danced and he raced in circles and zigzags all the way to the watering hole, where he drank as much fresh, clear water as he wanted. From now on, I will never be thirsty again. And he wasn't. He also stopped telling tales, for even though he could hear with his teeny, tiny, itty weeny little ears, he couldn't overhear all the other animals' conversation. To this day, armadillos have small ears. They always drink their fill of fresh water, and you may hide in the bushes and listen as long as you like, but you will never, ever catch an armadillo telling tales. All right, let's think about how the book made us feel. Armadillo told tales about what he heard. How do you feel about him telling tales to the other animals about what he heard? He never got it right, did he? No. How do you feel about telling tales or eavesdropping on other people's conversation? Should we eavesdrop and tell tales? No. Did Armadillo repeat what was said or did he make it different? He changed the words, didn't he? He changed, by changing the words, he changed what was said and what was meant when it was said. It was not for whose ears? Armadillo's ears. He wasn't supposed to hear what other people were saying because that's called eavesdropping. All right, guys, next week's reading is going to be Too Many Leprechauns or How the Pot of Gold Got to the End of the Rainbow on March 11th, 2021 at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Join me then. Have a great day, guys.